Hello, my name is Lisa Johnson from Square One Training. I'd like to share some tips and tricks with you today on how to animate bar charts in PowerPoint 2010. First of all, in my PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to hit the new slide button. And when I do that, I'm going to pick the actual chart layout, which is on display. And when you click this, you will get a selection of charts. So I'm going to go for the standard one, which is called a clustered column. And I'm going to press OK. This is then going to open up an Excel spreadsheet. And sometimes you'll see this on the right hand side of your screen. And you simply fill in the information or you can copy and paste the information in from a live Excel spreadsheet. So series one is going to be Jan I'm going to now copy that across and you can pull that further for your months as well okay we're analyze how many films we sold horror thrillers romance and comedy and again if there's any more that you want to do you can see a little tiny green area I should say green blue area there where you can actually click and drag that down as well so you then input the out the amount of sales or whatever you might be analyzing on this screen and as you're doing that it's plotting over here as well so I'll simply leave that as it is and I will now shut down the um, Excel data it won't ask me if I want to save it but that's okay I can come back to it at any time when you're on your chart you will see an edit data button so by simply clicking that it will reappear and you can then change the data okay let's just close this down so we have our chart on the screen and now what we would like to do is animate it so when you have your cursor on the chart you go to the animation screen and we're going to go for add animation and I'm going to go for something like appear something very plain that doesn't sort of uh, wham bam the audience it's just very effective okay so first of all we're going to go for appear you'll then see the additional thing that's come up which is effect options has suddenly appeared on the animations ribbon so I'm going to click that and you can choose to animate the object by series, by category, etc., or one slice at a time, which is the element. So if I go element by series, you'll see the animation effects down here and the number of times it's actually going to appear. So if I click here and put a title in, sales by type of film okay and then I'm gonna play it to you so to play the presentation you can hit slideshow button or if you press shift f5 on the keyboard that will play it um, as well so sales by type of film you can see come in and if I press enter it's going to actually draw the outline of the actual chart and if you keep pressing enter, that's what the element aspect is. It's going to bring all the January sales in one by one. And every time you press enter, it's going to follow on with the February, etc. So if I just press escape, escape will get me out of the presentation. And let's try something else. So if I click back onto the chart, effect options. Uh, maybe we'll change that to by series and then you can see the numbers have dropped down and again we play it so every time I do it all the January's ones are going to come in together then the February and then the March so that's a very very dynamic 
chart um, and that will keep your audience very interested in your presentation when you're presenting as well. It can't be done on an Excel uh, spreadsheet that you've just copied and pasted in. It's got to be something that you create within PowerPoint. So I hope that that was good and I hope you will enjoy using that feature. Thank you.